I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome to episode two of Making Bath City Beta. Hopefully you still get the joke. Um, I want to introduce you to my little friend this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. And that is this, my little black book. And, uh, and in this are my... Um, my FM notes and so what I do is I carry this around with me this is how sad I really am with a little pen and I write it down here ideas that I've got actions to take things like that whether I'm doing videos or whether whatever um, and I'll take it to work with me and if I have an idea for a tactic I'll write tactics in there and so I encourage you all to do the same is get yourself a little black book and write stuff in it and it'll make you feel like a really great manager even though I'm currently with Bath and I've lost my second game of the season so I now find myself in seventh place which isn't so bad um, you know it's early days it's early days isn't it um, in this season but we uh, we're just about to face Whitehawk and as you can see that's Whitehawk here are the favorites to win um, uh, Whitehawk are in about what are they in something like yeah, they're in 16th, so they are below me. They've lost one and drawn one. They haven't won a game yet this season. So this could be my chance to claim in, to jump in there on what they uh, are doing in terms of their bad form. Um, you see my under-18s played FC United under-18s, actually. Um, and we won 4-3. Back at the net, come on. Um, but anyway, well done under-18s for that. Um, let me just show you my tactics. If you tuned into my last episode, please go and have a little look back at that. You, I'll set up a little playlist for you so that you can access it easily. Um, you would have seen in the last game that at, by the end of the game, so many of my players were like exhausted. And so here you can see I've made a few, or well, quite a lot of changes actually to my starting lineup. And you can see here, even today, I've still got two players here who are painfully tired. Um, well, actually, really, they're just lacking match sharpness. Um, Will Antwi, which is my only C signing I've made. Um, I've made a whole bunch of loans and I've got a loan, some loan players in. But uh, he, he has got low match sharpness so far. And Lewis Perry, who hasn't played a game this season yet, he has also got low match fitness. But you see here now, they're all above 90%, which is kind of... For some reason, I always set myself in my head of, yep, yeah, 90% is what you've got to do. Um, and then you see here, the rest of my squad are all pretty much looking tired. Ben Adelsbury there, he got injured in my last game. But others are 82. This is after a week's rest. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it is not that they don't have very good fitness at the moment. It's a real, real gap in my training, which I'll probably look at between a couple of the next videos to try and sort that out but for now we're going to be playing against Whitehawk um, in the league um, I would love to get a win here I really would um, in terms of my tactics just going back to that quickly I am going control just because they haven't been in good form I've been in alright form scoring lots of goals I want to keep that going um, let me just show you my schedule in terms of how I've done. First game, I won 2-0. Second game, I lost 3-2. So that's not bad, scoring four goals in two games. Yep, we did give away three against Basingstoke. But, you know, you, you've got to... I'm, I'm more of a positive thinker. Thinking about the good things, thinking about the positives to take, the lessons to be learnt in a good way. Um, here you go. Look, again, this, is a, this must be a new feature with the beta of FM16. You can see here, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my players, I say, are lacking in match sharpness and may struggle to see out the match. That is really interesting that they're bringing that to me because I don't remember really ever seeing many players who are constantly at 100%. So I wonder how long they're going to keep telling me that. Um, like I wonder if it, drops, if it drops below a certain percentage, you know, if it's below... I don't know, 80%, then yeah, I do need to hear, but I don't know. Sometimes you think, well, I know they're, match, they're lacking match sharpness, but they've got, to, they've got to get match sharpness from somewhere, do you know what I mean, without being given away to the under-18s and the under-21s all the time. But anyway, they think that Whitehawk's going to win, but David Pratt will be a big miss for Bath, yet my captain got injured on the first game of the season, which absolutely sucks. Um, but my key man, Andy Watkins, my other striker who's replacing him, is a good, good striker. So we'll see how he does um, against Whitehawk today. We've got Hales in up front as well. So Hales is one of my lone players that I've got. Um, uh, a few of these midfielders didn't play in the first game, but they've been brought in, including Allen and Kington and Perry. Um, and then a few other players here who are new as well. Um, new this season, lone players that I've brought in. Still, my ad assistant manager isn't feeling confident enough to give me advice, which is a real shame and actually really annoying as well because 
I can't be bothered with this bit. <laughs> but basically, I can't be bothered. You, you sort of want to just be like, oh, you know, just tell me what to do on this bit. This isn't something I feel I should do. It's almost like you need a PA to come in and play that bit of FM for you. That's ultimately what the, the system manager should be doing. But um, he's not. So try and encourage a team despite everyone being the underdogs here. Go out there and give the fans something to cheer. They... Oh, I haven't been very good with team talks on the beta version yet. Not many of them are actually having any impact. Um, so I'm just having to do all this extra stuff. The passionate, I have, oh, I have faith in you. You can do it. Which all seems a little bit cliche to me. But they've turned green. Well, four of them have. Four out of 11. It's a start, I suppose. Let's just look at my instructions. Um, playing the ball out of defence. Working the ball into the box. Trying to retain possession. I'm trying to develop this sort of natural thing... Um, of passing the ball around rather than just pumping it up the pitch I really want to develop a squad that are passing the ball around and are good on their feet and you know good controllers of the ball and all that kind of thing so to just ask them to pump it up the pitch doesn't really teach them anything that's, that's that sounds really high and mighty of me doesn't it I want them to learn I want them to learn in this but anyway let's crack on with the game let's see how we get on today against Whitehawk we're away at Whitehawk today um I've no idea what the sort of um, what the attendance would be. Let's see the overview. Won't get it until half time, obviously. But it's a wet day, 20 degrees Celsius. Still quite warm as we are in the middle of August. Um, as I'm recording this in November, August seems like such a distant memory away. It's like we're now in the sort of throes of it being dark all the time and all that kind of stuff. Okay, the action zones. I like seeing the two bits in the middle. This is always this is a quite nice little touch I find. Um, the good thing is is even though my assistant manager wasn't saying much before the game in terms of who I should mark and all that kind of stuff here on the right as it had in previous ones as well I know previous FMs this news feed becomes more helpful when you've got a rubbish assistant manager because he picks up on things as the game's going which at least he picks up on some things you know here we go here's Watkins Kington forward till again to Watkins holds on to it hails on the edge of the box pass it back to Kington Allen, Chris Allen, is Barrow, turn him, to is through to Allen, oh, <sighs> lovely, lovely, lovely passing the ball around, movement there, really good, really good stuff, and here's the corner from Allen, wait, it's gone all the way through, oh, Antwi, the new defender, can he do anything with it, oh, he's lost it, oh, boy, you know what, if he, yeah, Antwi, uh, Will Antwi, the Ghanaian, he's my new um, signing. Uh, kind of an uh, older chap, I think he's 32, 33 years old, something like that. But um, I just needed some extra defenders. Um, but it's good to have him part of the team. They've got a yellow card after 29 minutes. Okay. Right. Okay, so I'd love to see um, hear thoughts from you in terms of what you think of my squad. Is there any gaps that I'm, I've got here? Um, also, do you know of any low league clubs that are kind of like wonder kids for long, younger, you know, for the lower league clubs? Often, when you get these wonder kid things, you find, you know, they're great for, you know, they're still worth about two million. You've got to pay for them, and I just obviously I can't afford that at Bath City. Um, so if you know of any wonder kids, if you know of any quality quality players for lower league sides, do let me know. Um, for me, particularly midfield, I'm thinking is is my kind of gap at the moment. Um, but also, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing what uh, what defenders there are as well. I've got a, de a couple of decent strikers, I feel, but um, midfielders and defenders particularly as what I think I could probably do with. Anyway, we are half time. We're doing well so far. Let's just have a look at the match stats. Um, I didn't really see. Yeah, so we've had more shots on them. We've had more possession. Yeah, we are playing better than them. That's that's good to hear. That's good to see. Um, let's go back to the team talk and um, let's happy with your performance far well, keep going out there and you can still win today they're looking this guy's looking a bit nervous Danny Barrow oh why, is he, why are you nervous mate he's 19 years old he's not worth anything he's from Wales he's got some good stats he's got some good stats about him look at those those physical you know see there you get fitness is at 14 base 12 you know he's a good keep good good player bit of my winger for me um he, although he is 
this Kington guy's looking a little bit tired. But let's, uh, you know what, I want to stick it out at the moment. I'm going to stick with pretty much things as they are. If we're doing all right at the moment, I'd, you know, if it ain't broke, don't don't fix it. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see how we go. Here, here they are on the attack. Whitehawk straight after the uh, kickoff. Pumps up the pitch. Oh, it's good. Nothing came of it. Nothing came of it. It's always nice to see when nothing comes of one of their attacks. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm looking forward to the full FM16 coming out. Um, I hope you are too. I'd love to hear your ideas of the saves that you're going to be doing. Do give me a leave a comment below with the save that you're going to be doing, or the the, the ones that you're really keen to do, or any challenges that you you're going to face. For me, um, I'm going to do one YouTube save, and I'm going to do a stream save as well on Twitch. Um, I'll share with them. Is Alan? Meanwhile. Oh, Barrow's on the edge of the box. I'll come back to that. Oh, it's a poor cross. But Perry still got it. This is good. Kington, pass it forward. Hales. Oh, he's lost it. Back, back with him. Allen. Come on, Watkins. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Andy Watkins. Second goal of the season. Hero, hero. This is good stuff. This is great stuff. Let's have a let's have a look at the uh, replay. I, you know what? I thought at one point I thought they've lost it. I think they gave it back. They fought it back for it. And there's that look, poor goalkeeping again, isn't it? Yeah, Andy Watkins. I have to say this is definitely um, probably a little bit of a tweaking thing that um, uh, Sports Interactive could probably do is probably tweak the goalkeeping uh, a little bit. It's a little bit ropey at times. But yeah, I'm going to be having one save on YouTube, um, which is going to be like a probably you know one long save and i'll be having a stream which is probably a creator club stream oh oh meanwhile white hawk have scored 54th minute straight from look at that free kick from deering bowman's missed inception led to that goal apparently there's a free kick and nielsen oh dear just just poor defending really they should have done better than that should have done better than that but yeah, yeah. So I'm probably going to be doing a create a club on Twitter on Twitch, which is be f which will be fun. Um, I've never done that before. I know you've obviously you've been able to do it with the editor, but it sounds like and I haven't tried it yet on the beta. But it sounds like they've made it a lot easier to do, which is great. Um, now I haven't really decided exactly the create a club, what that look like, who that will be, that kind of thing. Um, I'm, I think for um, my youtube save i've decided um i did post a picture on my twitter account actually what that'll be the thumbnail for that um but you know what i can change it why not i can always change what i want to do so i would love to hear what you think would be good to do meanwhile my players are looking really tired aren't they it's midfielder kington um let's take him off let's um swap him for chris allen who's still got a little bit of life left in him and we'll bring on this guy Chaz hemmings here who's um probably probably the better attacking midfielder center i've got um meanwhile as well jack smith is looking tired let's bring on down ball onto that and also will antwi my um other defender also looking quite tired as well um i'll tell you what i might do see this guy here andy gallagher can play any of the positions in in um defence. So if I put him into the centre, take Antwi off and um, swap him with Lewis Perry, who's been playing midfield for me today, but I'm going to push him back to the left back and then um, I'll bring on, I think I'll bring on this guy, Jonathan Davis. Oh, yeah, the computer's going a bit slow today. Um, Jonathan Davis onto um, left midfield. and Let's just give them a bit of a team talk for the last 20 minutes of the game or so. You guys can do this. I've got faith in you. I believe you've got what it takes. Come on, boys. Let's uh, let's get a winner. There's a winner in here somewhere. I feel it. I can feel it in my bones that someone's going to score in the next 12 minutes of FM time. Come on, boys. You can do this. Let's have a goal. Let's have a goal. Let's get let's get a win on the board. 85th minute. 86th minute. We won our first game of the season, which is great. Um, lost the last game this pass back to Bowman come on build up play Allen through to what Andy Watkins through to Hales oh 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 nearly caught nearly stole it on 87th minute nearly stole that win that would have been a beauty if he'd won that I would have absolutely loved it 
89th minute. Look, these players are looking tired, aren't they? Looking really tired. That's, yeah, looks like we're going to be finishing with a one-all draw unless Hawks can do something about this one. Bowman, clear it, mate. Thrilling second half. Well done, boys. A one-all game in the end. Good for the pools. That's what we always say, eh? Good for the pools. Um, yeah, we have upset the odds, so we're proud. I'm proud of them. You've just proved a lot of people wrong in defeat and defence. If defeat and de avoiding defeat, they've proved a lot of people wrong. It's good to see. Good to see. Um, Post-match analysis. Let's have a little look at that. Their player Deering, yeah, he's took that free kick. That was a really nice. Ended up being a nice goal for them. Um, Andy Watkins was my key player. Um, and we are finishing. We are in ninth place. So we have dropped a couple of places down from seventh down to ninth. Ooh, not that good. In the end, actually, Whitehawk had more shots than me. Um, we had more possession though. So it's actually, to be fair, quite an even game. But anyway, onwards and upwards. The next game is against Maidenhead, who, uh, from the looks of things, it, from what I just saw a minute ago, let me just take a look at the uh, the league table here. Uh, Maidenhead are in third place at the moment. They've um, at their three games, they've won two and drawn one. So it's going to be a tough game for me. But wish me all the best. Um, I am the worst football manager ever. And um, you can catch me on Twitch. You can catch me on YouTube. Do subscribe and like if you've enjoyed this video and enjoying the content. Um, join me next time for this game against Maidenhead. Uh, but until then, would love to catch you on Twitter. If you're on Twitter as well, you can see me on there at Worst F Manager. Um, would love to hear your feedback. Do leave comments below on how I can improve things. How can I improve my team? How can I improve as a manager? Would love to hear your feedback. But until next time, see you later.